Hi, I'm Charlie Starr. The video you are about to watch is part of my free course, How to Read a Birth Chart. Signing up is easy. Simply subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and shoot me an email to the address in the description box below, letting me know you want to be enrolled. I will reply with a welcome email, including the syllabus and other free course materials. Then head on over to my channel page and find the How to Read a Birth Chart free course playlist. Hit play and follow the step-by-step -step instructions to become a true birth chart master. And now, back to this video. Hey friends, so in this video we're going to go over the different components in a birth chart. I'm just going to give you a little visual to show you what it is that we're talking about and um, you can see kind of like visually what we're going to be learning in this course. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys, um, starting off, how to look up a chart for free. So I use Solar Fire, which is an amazing, amazing astrology software, but it is not cheap. Um, if you do end up getting really into this and really wanting to like have all these options and have a lot of control um, over like different sort of more like advanced techniques, I do recommend Solar Fire 100%. It is the software to use, but it is, like I said, not cheap. So I want this to be a completely accessible and free course for you guys. So I'm gonna show you my favorite website to look up your chart for free. And that is astro.com. So here we are, astro.com. And how you're gonna look up your chart is you're going to select horoscopes. And then in the drop down, you're going to pick extended chart selection. Okay, so I already put in my information here, but let's just add. So if you're new to astro.com, you'll just select, you can either create a free account or you can um, use it as a guest. So let's just say Charlie Star 2. Um, you can select female, male, or other. Um, I, if you select other, if you identify as non-binary, um, you can select either one. Just know that if you select event, unfortunately at this time, they don't give like a personal interpretation of the aspects, which um, this website will give particular um, interpretations of the different aspects. If you select male or female, so let's just select one, this is arbitrary. So we're gonna just put in a random date. We're gonna do, let's see, 1998. Um, let's go with 10.03 a.m. USA and then the birth town, okay? Um, so Tacoma, Washington, let's do that. All right, so. That's the information that you're gonna need. Your birthday, the time that you were born, the country, and the birth town. Now, if you don't know what time you were born, you can um, put in, so let's see, what does it say? Birth time entry, unknown birth time. You can select it and it just won't have the houses for you. So we'll hit continue. Then the next thing that we're gonna wanna do, this is really important, is house systems, we're going to select the whole sign. Where's the whole sign? Whole signs right here. Okay, so whole signs. We don't have to do anything else. We can always play with these things later. These are just a bunch of different settings, okay? So we're gonna go right to show the chart. Okay, so what are we looking at? So this is more or less what your birth chart is gonna look like. It's gonna be a circle. The circle is gonna be divided into 12 slices. There's gonna be a bunch of glyphs and a bunch of aspects. So that's these right here. So essentially what this is, and we'll, obviously we're gonna go into like so much more detail throughout the course, but to give you an overview, this is essentially a picture of the um, zodiac belt. And the zodiac belt is just the strip of sky because of course like when you look up in the sky it's not just a strip it's an entire globe so all of the planets the sun and the moon included the luminaries um, they don't just randomly go across the sky in different directions they actually all follow the same path in the same exact 
strip of the sky that's called the zodiac belt. So that belt is then subdivided into 12 equal segments and each segment is given a sign and that sign is really just a locational marker that's showing us where in the zodiac belt that uh, portion of the sky is. So like if a planet's in Sagittarius, for example, is going to tell us like where in the sky that it is, okay? So that's really all that the signs are. Of course, they have their own energies and we will learn all of those signs, but that's what the signs are. Is this, they're marking a segment of the zodiac belt for locational purposes. Here's the signs on the outside. So we have Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. So you will learn how to write each and every one of these symbols. These are called glyphs. A glyph is just an astrological symbol. So you'll learn how to write all these glyphs and you will also learn about their different energies. So each sign has a particular different energy um, based on its ancient element, which is going to be water, earth, fire, or air. And then it also is gonna have a different modality based on when um, the sun goes through that sign in the seasonal year. Okay, so we'll learn about that and we'll use the stories of the constellations, we'll use the, um, like I said, the elements and modalities, all to learn about the different signs. Okay, so then on top of that, the next thing that we're going to be learning is the planets. So the planets are symbolized inside the wheel with these glyphs. This one's Saturn, this one's Mars, this one's Jupiter, this one's Uranus, this is the Sun, this is Neptune, this is Venus, this is Mercury, this is um, the MC, this is the Midheaven. It's actually just a sensitive point. We'll also be learning that. Over here's another sensitive point called the Ascendant. So this marks your rising sign. So we'll learn that as well. Then we have Pluto, the Moon, Chiron is an asteroid, and then we'll also be learning about the North Node and the South Node. Okay, so all of these, well, most of these, they're planets, and each planet is going to rule a particular sign. Um, so we'll learn all of that, and we'll learn all of how to interpret um, what ha what do you do with like a sign that's empty if there's no planet in it, if the planet, if the ruling planet of the first house is in the 11th or the 10th, what does that mean? Um, all those different things. Okay, we're also gonna learn the house system. So the house divides the wheel, again, into 12 segments. In the whole sign, whole sign house system, this is really, really, really simple because you just have the first sign is the first house the second sign is the second house the third sign is the third house the fourth sign is the fourth house, and so on and so forth you can see it's nice even clean division okay there's other house systems that make it a lot more complicated some people will have like you know really big first houses and really like teeny tiny eighth houses or something like that so those are different house systems we'll learn about that as well um what those house systems are and why we may or may not use it um, for reasons I'll go into later, I prefer the whole sign house system. It's the oldest, it's the most tried and true, and it's the most simple, okay? Um, but what the houses describe is what's happening, um, not just what's happening, but where is it happening, okay? So like the second house is going to describe your values, your relationship to money, your finances, your skills that you have to monetize, your resources. The third house is going to be siblings, early childhood, communication in general, short distance travel, you know, commuting, your vehicles. Fourth house is gonna be the home, the mother, the family of origin, real estate. So as you can see, each house describes or rules, you could say like a different part of your life. So that's what the houses are. And then we're also gonna learn about the aspects. So the aspects are these lines right here. You see these red lines and these blue lines, and they're making these like marks in between certain planets. So what that is doing is um, that is describing the relationship between these planets, and that's another interpretive aspect. Okay, so we'll, we will be learning about these aspects in the chart, the main ones, and what those energies signify. 
Then um, you will also be learning about degrees. We won't go too much into degrees, um, but we'll just go over kind of like the basics of degrees. In the wheel, there's 360 degrees. Each sign has 30 degrees. So when you see a number like 224 right here, all that's saying is that the ascendant is at two degrees of Aries. So it's again, it's a locational marker, okay? Um, so we'll get into that a little bit. Um, we're not really gonna get into numerology or the Sabian symbols, um, like more like, we're not gonna get too heavily into the degrees, but we will get into just like the basics of the degrees as they are relevant to other parts of astrology um, in the chart. So I hope that it gives you some somewhat of a understanding of what it is that we're gonna be learning in this course from a visual standpoint. There's all these, this chart down here that kind of like breaks it down and like tells you what the glyphs are here, which is kind of like a little cheat sheet. Um, and it, then it even tells you like um, aqua for Aquarius, three degrees of Aquarius, six degrees of Sagittarius, 15 degrees of Capricorn. And then these are, um, these glyphs represent different aspects. So they'll tell you what aspects each planet is making. Um, I don't really find the chart that helpful. Once you've already memorized the glyphs, to me, it's just not intuitive to look at this chart. It's much easier for me to look at this and be like, oh, okay, so like the Pluto and Pluto and the moon are in a trine with Saturn. Like, so much easier for me, but we'll get into that later. Okay, so I hope that gives you guys like a basic visual of what it is exactly that we'll be learning to interpret throughout this course. In the next video, we'll be learning about the history of the birth chart, how we got to where we are today, where did it come from? Just a quick little overview.